Hello guys, welcome to Linux Jai channel. Today's topic is how to see the process information with using ps command. Here ps is nothing but process status. For that I have to open my virtual machine with using vm run command. So in previous videos you can observe I am starting the virtual machine with vm run command and as well as I am using this command for the whole operation will be in terminal only so that's the reason I am using this vm run command vm run command only execute the virtual machine which, is, which are available in vmware workstations right First, we need to start the virtual machine without GUI, that is graphical user interface. I'm not using graphical user interface because in real time, we have to use command line interface only. So that's the reason I'm using VM run command to run the virtual machine without graphical user interface. So first, sudo VM run start. So the virtual machine folder we have to go there vmware and the folder of that virtual machine and the vmx file of that virtual machine. So this is the whole path of the virtual machine and after that I have to type no GUI. It will ask my host's password. This is my host password that is my physical system password. It's not my virtual machine password here, right? You have to understand. I entered that. So now go to sudo vm run list to see the virtual machine is started or not. You can observe here. So total running VMs are one and the path full path of the virtual machine. That means the virtual machine is started. So how to connect SSH username is root at the rate of with IP address only it's possible 192.168.186.129 So this IP address is sent to a 764 bit virtual machines IP address and this password also that particular VM's password whichever we gave while we are configuring the virtual machine the same password you have to enter here now type who am i root and present working directory slash root so now it's confirmed that we log in in centos 7 iphone server host machine so in this way you can use vm run command to start the virtual machine and to use to log into that particular virtual machine we can use ssh command here. So today's topic is ps that means process status. So what is process? Actually the process is set of instructions which loads into the memory that is called as process. And Whenever your process start, the operating system will automatically assign one integer ID that is called process ID. So first, we are going to use this ps command to see the current processes. So what are the current process? We can simply, to see them, we can simply type ps. So these are the current process. You can observe here. This pid is process id and this tty is terminal type here and name of the terminal and time means the cpu time in minutes and seconds that the process has been started yes and this is the command means which that command which initiated the process so bash command initiated this process here the ps command initiated this process so this is the these are the details of this ps command this 
this ps command shows only current process information if i want to see all running process information i can use one more command that is ps hyphen e so it will execute all the commands here no it will show all the running processes here so from start one to how many processes are there there are so many processes running presently so in our in centos 7 system d is the first process here you can see pad is one and tty is question mark here the question mark indicates that it's a background process and here time means the cpu time in minutes and second that the process has been running and the command here the command is system d the name of the command which initiated the process in this way we can see the process information that means all running process information so press enter and control l to clear the screen so we can use this command in different uh, options like ps e space pipe if you use more press enter so we can scroll the process information from top to bottom here you can simply press enter to see to scroll the processes information like this press enter 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 to see all the process informations so if you want to quit you can simply type q here that's it and one more command is there also ps e l e s s less so what is the use of this more and less commands we can and press enter to see all the process information is one by one like we can scroll the processes information while pressing the enter button or else you can use up and down arrow keys up and down arrow keys to see the process information like one by one like this up and down up and down arrow keys if you want to quit the process information you can simply type q we will come out the process information so in this way we can see the process in all running processes information with using more or less commands also and next one is we want to see the processes information all running process information with some more details for that we use one command that is ps gf and i am using more or less commands here less is uh, my favorite one because it's very convenient we can scroll the process information up and down so that's the reason i'm using less option here ps ef space pipe and less press enter so this will give all running process information in with some details like we have eight columns here uid pid ppid c s time tty time cmd so what are all these columns defined here here uid is nothing but name of the user account which owns the process that means user name of the account which owns the process that means here the root is the owner the root is the user account which owns the process here and next pid is process id that means just now i told you process id is nothing but os automatically assign every process an integer id that is called process id process id and here parent process id that is zero here c is nothing but cpu utilization at present it's using zero cpu utilization and here is s time start time of the process 1654 1854 is nothing but 654 in indian standard time 654 pm and tty is question mark it's a background process right and system d here you can the find the command name i told you just now in set to 7 system d is the first process that's why every time when you execute the process related command that means ps related commands it will show the first command is system d and here the time the time this amount of 
the amount of CPU time in minutes and seconds that the process has been running. So this is the time here and last one is command the command which initiated the process. So these are the columns and these are the definitions of every column. So what were the different what are the column definitions you can find here. Just now I explained you and just simply type Q to quit the processes information and next we have one more command that is ps uux and it will give more details in more detailed information like see how many columns available after I execute this command ps x space pipe ss press less press enter so here you can find how many columns 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so these are the columns and uh, definition of these columns i am going to explain here right now user is nothing but who is the user of the process process owner that is root here pid is process id percentage of cpu that means amount of cpu using to run this process here percentile memory is nothing but amount of memory is used to to run this process here this is vsz is virtual size and this is rss resident set size in 1024 byte units and this is tty is nothing but terminal type question marks indicates that it's a background process and the stat is nothing but process state code this stat indicates that process state code so here are the codes s capital s small s capital s like this these are the codes and i will explain you what are the, all these codes just now after the after explaining this command i am going to explain what are the process state codes and uh, how to identify them so next is start as usual start time of the process and next time the amount of cpu time in minutes and second that the process has been running and the last one is command the command which initiated the process these are the 11 11 columns here you can observe 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 these are the 11 columns which are available when we when you execute this ps x space pipe space less so in this way we can see all current running processes information just q for quit the command and control l to clear the screen and type man ps man pages of ps command press enter so we are going to see the process state codes and what they define just i am scrolling okay where are the codes Right, have patience. I will explain you definitely. Ah, these are the process state codes. Here you can see process state codes. Here are the different values that the small is stat and state output specifiers. Header stat are header start or capital S will display to describe the state of process information. Just now I told you in PS hyphen F. In PS hyphen AUX, you will find capital S. That means stat or S you can find there. That the header shows the process state codes. Uh, so what are the codes you can observe here? Capital D is uninterruptible sleep. That the process is uninterruptible sleep and usually IO. Run R uh, capital R means running or runnable. Those processes are running or runnable. And capital S is interruptible sleep waiting for an event to complete 
capital E, capital T here stopped by job control signal. Small t is here stopped by debugger during the tracing. Capital W, paging, not valid since the 2.6.xx kernel. So capital X is dead, should never be seen. And capital Z is defunct or zombie process, terminated but not reaped by its parent. Next, for BSD formats and when the stat keyword is used, additional characters may be displayed here. So, additional characters you will find here. Less than means high, high priority, not nice to other users. And capital N means low priority, nice to other users. Capital L means has pages locked into memory for real time and custom IO. Small s is, it is a session leader and a small l is, is multi-threaded using clone thread like nptl p threads do and plus is is in the foreground process group so these are the process state codes you can find in man pages uh, in ps command so you can come and learn so this is all about process state codes q for quit the man page Next, for example, I want to see only one particular process, particular user process information. To do, to do that, so how many users are logged here? You can simply type, not users, sorry, users. So only root user login here. So I want to open one more terminal. Control L. I want to log in as a normal user. I have one more user in that CentOS 7 server machine that is Karunakar. NKR Karunakar. Shift at the rate of 192.168.186.129. Press enter. Oh, sorry. Karunakar is spelling. Yeah, password, virtual machine password here. Press enter. Okay, so you can simply type users. So, two users logged here. So, I want to see one particular user process information. So, for that, ps iphone u that means username. You can simply type karunaka. So the karunakar processes information you can observe here like how many process karunakar have only three process running in the name of karunakar so in the way in this way you can see one particular users process information also yes okay that's it that's it for today what we learned today that means how to see the process information with different options so what are the process state codes and uh, how we can see process information with one particular user so one particular user's process information also we can see here so in more detailed information we use ps uf and ps aux command to see all running process information in detail so that's it for today if you like the video please click on that like button and if you want to share this video please share as many as you can and don't forget to subscribe my channel this is Linux Joy signing off. Have a nice day.